Now gospel artist Masi Masika has finally spoken on the road that has overtaken gospel music industry, you know, causing many to lose trust in it, bro. Now you guys listen. Recently, you already know that a number of gospel artists have ditched gospel industry for secular music industry. But why? Now is it because of money or because of Raha associated with secular industry? Now I know both are valid reasons, but then many would argue the former is the main cause. You know that is money and that is true because you know money comes first you guys already know that secular industry is associated with very many shows and they pay very good amount and the more you entertain the more you pull many shows bro which is not a surprise because you guys already know that people out here want to make cash as fast as possible but now Masi Masika has finally come through and aired her views concerning the major problem that has been affecting gospel music industry now through her Instagram page Masi Masika came through and revealed that the problem is that many have crossed the line and turned gospel music into business. Now, I think she meant the artists have forgotten the purpose of gospel industry and now they are focusing more into making money using gospel music and stuff, bro, which is not a problem because there's no you can sustain yourself in the gospel industry without money. Like, you have to earn money so that you can continue making music and stuff. But she's making sense. Anyways, man, Masi Masika, through her Instagram page posted this and I quote the reason much of today's music lack inspiration and memorability is that people have blurred the lines and turned music into too much of a business. It takes moral courage to remain true and to inspire, impact and be true to who you are called to be. And even though remaining true may sometimes take time to pay, it pays very well. There is confidence that comes from being true. Yeah, that is what Masa Masika came through and said talking on the major problem that has been facing the gospel music industry you know and making it tasteless and stuff bro talking about gospel music industry as much as many have come through and ditched you know the gospel for secular well there are some who are still in gospel but the music they are making is not inspirational at all and i think Masa Masika was trying to address those guys who are still existing in gospel industry but their music is not inspirational and memorable and i don't need to give you example to know a couple of people here anyways man that is was good what do you guys think about those sentiments right there by Masi Masika? is she making sense well tell us down in the comment section subscribe if you haven't follow me on instagram please get out ke and i'll be back with more news